Everybody can probably do it in yeshiva. Everybody can do it growing up with a kippah and growing up with talis gadol. And everybody, yeah, 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 bar mitzvah, you know, mazel tov. But who can do it in the slums the way David did it? Who can do it in the wilderness the way Moshe Rabbeinu did it? That's the ultimate Jew, the ultimate Israelite. For me, being in the streets and having a gun and deciding things on an ethical way, in a moral way, telling guys, yo, listen, man, you can't kill him. You can't do that. You know, he didn't do anything to you. Your problem's not with him. Your problem's with that guy, man. Don't shoot him. Come on, man. Don't Listen, well, if you shoot him, you're going to have to shoot me. There's no greater Judaism than that, putting your life on the line to do what's right. And I've been doing this. So again, you know, for me, I was always the good guy in a terrible neighborhood, a terrible environment. But the ethics of Judaism is what kept me and what allowed me to make it out of that hell, the same way Devil the Melech made it out of his hell, to a higher plane. Because I was able to apply the laws of Judaism in the ultimate level. If everything I've done... On, on, on the basic level of Judaism got me so far wouldn't it make sense to do even more because I want more you know when we talk about the four the next four quarters I, I plan to have a billion dollar corporation you know there are movies to make there's there's music to sell there are products that come with that music there are books there's merchandising there's clothing there's so many things to do and of course you can do that with a lucker Yosef Sadi ran the world he controlled the monetary system just like me, right out of prison. So there's nothing contradictory. You just have to know your boundaries and your lines and your def definitions. This is not something I did when I got out of prison. I've been in prison, rapping to fill in, being Shoma Shabbat, being Shoma Bris, being cautious, under the most dire circumstances. I remember I went to prison. They was like, yeah, we don't know too many dark-skinned Jews. You're Jewish, yeah, and I just won the lottery. Where's my $100 million? <laughs> so they gave, me, they, gave me, they gave me pork, and, and they said, yeah, here's the food. Yeah, this is kosher. And I'm like, yeah, all right, thank you. And I didn't eat, I didn't eat for, 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 for 48 hours. I didn't eat for 48 hours. You understand? And it wasn't like, oh, boo-hoo-hoo. No, I get the blessings for that. That's why I'm sitting here in the King David with the Belize flag to my right, the Israeli flag to my left, and we're talking about a miraculous year, and we're planning a miraculous year ahead because of all those things that I've 